Good morning, everyone. It's Donna with Simply Living Wellness, and it's Friday, 10 o'clock. Today, I'm going to go into a bit of a deeper topic. But before I do that, I just want to remind you for all the women out there, we have a women's support group called Leaders of Love, where we collaborate, join together, share, support each other, bring in amazing guest speakers, um, as well as Anathia and I lead sessions. It's with my my partner, Anathia, my online business partner, and it's called Leaders of Love. I'll put the link in here. If you haven't heard of it already, please join us. It's free to join. Every Wednesday evening, we have a women's circle from 6 to 7 Pacific time. And uh, last week, we had an amazing session with Jules Carpenter. She led a breathwork session, and um, it was fabulous. So come join us. I'll post the link. Um, now on to today's topic. So today, I want to talk about the states of consciousness. Um, some people refer to it as 3D, 4D, 5D. And um, these are states of consciousness. And what it's about is raising the frequency, the vibration of uh, the planet, of human consciousness, and um, what that means exactly. So it's a little bit, uh, the beginning's going to be a little bit kind of woo-woo, maybe for some of you, maybe not for everybody. Um, but when I get into describing the characteristics of these different states of consciousness, I think it'll become uh, a lot more concrete and obvious what I'm talking about. So something that's easier to relate to, let's just say. But let me talk a bit about um, this global collective consciousness that we have on the planet as a human race and um, raising that vibration. Um, moving from 3D to 5D consciousness. 3D is a very dense consciousness, um, and I'll be describing these different levels of consciousness, consciousness in detail. Um, and some even believe that in four years already, we're moving very fast. And some believe that already in four years, these are like mediums who um, channel spirit guides, who, um, you know, whatever you want to call them. But uh, the word is that we're moving very quickly. We're moving into that 5D level of consciousness even as soon as four years from now. So I think it's good to be aware of it. Of course, this is what I believe. You may not believe this at all. You don't even need to listen. So take it or leave it. Um, and uh, we talked a little bit about law of attraction and manifesting in other live videos. Um, we are becoming, as we move into 4D and 5D consciousness, we will manifest very quickly. So be careful about your thoughts, your feelings, your words that you speak, and your actions, because you will attract back that which you put out there. And if it's negativity and um, other kinds of lower vibrational frequencies, you're just going to get that back at you. So let me see what else I wanted to cover before I go into the details of the three different states. Um, yeah, what can we do to help humanity? As we all know, it's a little bit crazy out there and um, a lot of violence, a lot of craziness, and um, sometimes it feels like we can't do anything, but we can. We can raise our vibrations and that's exactly what we can do. And so, you know, you're going to learn more about what I mean by that when I go into the details of it. But <clears throat> what we can do is put out this higher vibrational frequency, love frequency. And it, it feels, it may seem to some that it doesn't do any good. You know, it might help ourselves. It doesn't help anybody else. But it really does. It feeds into the global collective, the global conscious. Um, consciousness of, of the earth and humanity. Um, they talk about, for example, Mother Teresa and how she 
impacted so many lives and physically she was only able to touch a certain number of lives there were there, there were many but she impacted so many more um, by the her high level of vibration and frequency that she put out her love unconditional love consciousness um, so she impacted so many more people than she actually physically came into contact with so they say that about mother Teresa. The TM organization, for example, they've actually done studies to show TM is Transcendental Meditation. It's a huge worldwide organization. I'm part of it as well. And um, they teach a form of meditation, but it's a whole lot more than that. And because it's such a big organization, so many people are in this, in this organization, they um, have done studies that, for example, they, they have these group meditations that they organize so in a particular city when everybody in this group is meditating and there's a lot of people like you know hundreds even a thousand meditating all at the same time they have shown that in that city the crime levels have gone down um, domestic violence levels you know the crime definitely they can measure and that's one thing that definitely decreases during the time frame around this group meditation that's taking place it's really wild it's really awesome actually so we do we can take part and make a difference in raising our vibration now i'm not saying don't go out and protest definitely go out and protest um don't do it violently um those people who are out there looting and vandalizing and doing criminal activity and harming others they are stuck in this 3d state of consciousness um, and so the protesters who are wanting to protest and do it peacefully that's awesome and they are in a higher vibrational level um, the minute that you start harming somebody else or maybe you're in a, a uh, an authoritative position where you feel you have the authority to maybe harm peaceful protesters for example and you're doing that kind of activity that is stuck in 3d consciousness that is not okay um, peaceful protesting is awesome and I encourage that but we can also just at home um, help humanity by moving from 3d more into 4d and eventually 5d so um, so let me go on to describe um, what I mean by these different levels of uh, dem states of consciousness. And, you know, this is not, um, this is something I follow, I study. There's a lot of people that teach this. Um, so I just want to share what I've learned and what I personally believe in. Uh, take it or leave it. Uh, but let's start with 3D consciousness so 3d consciousness is very dense um, and some of the characteristics that people who are in this state of consciousness um, have are first of all they're not awake they're unawake they're not conscious um, of a lot of things okay we'll talk about that more in a minute um, they have a they tend to have a victim mentality and I'm not saying I don't have these things myself. It's, it's not easy to just jump from one to the other. It takes work. That's what self-growth is about. That's what self-development is about. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying that I'm none of these things by, by sharing this. I just want to make that very clear. So, tend to be in victim mentality. Life happens to me. I have been dealt a bad deck of cards. Um, I'm not in control. Of changing my life maybe I believe I can control certain things like I could get a better job or I could go to school and study and therefore have you know maybe a better job and a better career and a better life but in general it's this mentality that life happens to me I'm sort of I'm out it's out of my control a lot of things in my life are out of my control so that's the victim mentality I've been dealt a bad deck of cards that kind of thing or a bad hand um, and egocentric is another characteristic egocentric um, and self-serving so 
the ego mind is actually what causes a lot of these characteristics. It's, it's the ego in ourselves. So all of the things I'm going to list are really because our ego's in control instead of our higher self. Um, so uh, being self-serving rather than serving others. This is a difficult one because we feel like we have to be self-serving. We feel like we have to um, create stability in our lives and security and that, that that's all important. Um, and it is important, but um, being, you know, constantly focused on self versus serving others, that, that's a 3D uh, type of characteristic. Fear being fear-based on so many different levels. So that is a whole Facebook Live on its own, talking about fear and how that comes up in our lives. And it's there's the obvious ways, but then there's the subtle ways that fear comes up that we don't even know we're being fearful. So that, that's a whole other topic. Um, judging, judging and comparing ourselves to others. That is a 3D characteristic. Um, this whole comparing and identifying with status and materialism and what kind of things that we own, that's all sort of judgment and comparing and, and hate, for example, judging others, not liking others, even if it's somebody really, you know, uh, <laughs> somebody really considered bad. Um, but that judgment is a 3D state of consciousness. All right, um, whereas 5D is complete unconditional love regardless of who it is. Um, and scarcity poverty mindset, um, that there's not enough to go around, that I don't have enough, that I can't get enough. Um, this whole scarcity mindset is very much 3D. And by the way, um, why is humanity, for the most part, so stuck in 3D? I forgot to mention this at the beginning. There's, um, as a humanity, we are meant to be sovereign 5D beings. We are sovereign beings, and we're meant to live in 5D consciousness state. But um, we are stuck in this dense 3D state of consciousness. Um, why that is, I'm not even going to go into that. There's different viewpoints on that, um, but the majority of us are stuck in 3D. And so um, let me continue. So scarcity and poverty. Then and the this identification with status and how much material possessions we have. Um, controlling, just trying to control every aspect of our life and our emotions and our mind and everything that that's all 3d um, versus just giving over and trusting that it's all going to work out so that's another one um focus on security and stability we talked about living in the past and the future so people in 3d consciousness very infrequently live in the present moment that's why this practice of meditation and mindfulness is so important because it helps us move out of 3D. Um, so people in 3D worried about the future, dwelling on the past, um, ooh, that's, that's another thing. So all of these characteristics, um, if we work on these and we move out of these and we move more into the 4D, even eventually 5D, which you're going to hear about in a minute, um, that's how we raise our vibration. That's how we raise the frequency and it affects us and everyone around us and the global collective. So um, being reactionary is another characteristic. Things trigger us. How do we react, right? Um, are we able to detach as well? Detachment is huge. So um, catching yourself in the moment and choosing how you react to someone, to a situation. That's huge. And being reactionary and attaching to things is very 3D consciousness. Um, this last one I'm going to talk about is a, is a bit of a um, tough, tough thing to mention. And um, you may get pissed off hearing this. This is just my opinion, and um, it may seem insensitive right now to mention this as well, but um, it's, it's about our spiritual awakening, spiritual growth, 
what brought us here what are we doing here if you believe in soul evolution and reincarnation this won't be shocking to you but could be shocking to people especially those stuck in 3d um, but 3d consciousness state of consciousness we believe that we didn't choose our life so i didn't choose the life i'm living um, i didn't choose the family i was born into i didn't choose whether i was going to have a hard or difficult life so so um i didn't choose maybe the color of my skin or um whether i was gonna be in a difficult life or not so all of these things we i believe we actually choose the life that we come into that we're born into and that's part of soul evolution reincarnation and um we choose difficult lives we do because we are sovereign beings here on earth as god we are all god we are all part of god i believe we're all part of source and we choose um, the lives we come into and if we chose just a really easy life um it wouldn't be as much fun so that's why it's it feels like there's all this hardship in humanity and i'm not saying that some some have it much harder than others i know that um, and it's not easy but anyway that's another aspect of being in 3d versus 4 or 5d is do you believe that you chose your life or not so let's talk about 4d a lot more fun in 4d consciousness you're starting to awake you're starting to be more conscious you're open to different perspectives you question everything you question um what we've been conditioned to believe so teachers government par our parents um society and um religion especially so um, we start to question we start to have a different perspective we start to realize there could be a different perspective there could be a different possibility um so that's this awakening as well as we um are much more living much more consciously aware of things so this whole list that i went through of 3d consciousness um just being aware of those things is being in 4d consciousness so um, um just being aware that you're triggered maybe by a situation and that you're attaching too much to it or that you're stuck in the past or worried about the future um, just that awareness of and living consciously that that is the characteristic right there um, being aware of your actions and the consequences of those actions as well and especially when they're in a lower lower vibration um, so you know um, the actions you know just like i talked about the other characteristics of 3d being aware of that and just being aware of how our actions play a part in that lower vibrational frequency um then there's the whole spiritual aspect so it's it's also a spiritual awakening it's realizing that we um that there may be a lot more to us than just our physical bodies that there may be the soul that lives on this is all 4d okay starting to be aware that there's a greater source a, a higher power out there that we, we are a part of um, but it's not just us it's not it's not this all about self that's the ego frame of mind um, and that we are all connected as well so our souls are all, are all connected here on earth and when we pass that's all starting to get into 4d consciousness um, but uh, also just less reactionary more about serving others um, all 4d characteristics life is still a struggle though in 4d um, the ego still has a strong hold on us we kind of bounce them back bounce back and forth um, from 3d type characteristics where the ego is completely in control to 4d um, where we're able to kick the ego back into the back seat the ego is here to protect our soul 
but we don't want it to lead our lives. We don't want it to be in control because it's the ego that causes these um, things like fear, like um, being in victim mentality, like comparing ourselves to others, whether it's our looks or our status or um, what kind of material possessions we have. So that's all the ego that's bringing up that gunk. Um, so in 4D, we still are, we, we bounce back and forth. You know, it's not easy to get completely out of victim mode. We, we self-pity ourselves at times. Um, it's not easy to get out of fear, especially when there's so much going on that's, that's crazy out there. It's not easy to get out of scarcity mindset when maybe you've lost your job or your business is failing because of the quarantine you know it's it's so 4d is starting to have that awakening but at the same time the le the ego keeps us still in fear okay so then there's 5d state of consciousness in 5d it you're completely egoless the the ego is still there but it's just there to protect us and is you know, comes in when it's needed. So we're completely egoless. Um, we, our higher self is in control. Um, we are here in service to others. And we have, um, our actions are based on love and especially unconditional love, which is very difficult. Um, it's very dif difficult to love somebody who has harmed you or done you wrong. Can you still love that person? That That's 5D level of state of consciousness. Um, gratitude is huge. So in 4D, you're already starting to feel grateful for things. 5D, you're just completely living in gratitude all the time. Um, Self-awareness, complete self-awareness, knowing what triggers you, choosing different reaction, choosing how do you want to react to a trigger to somebody who offends you, triggers you, harms you, um, choosing how to react. So always though, every time, 4D, sometimes we choose, but not always, maybe we forget, right? Maybe we still react. So in 5D, it's choosing a different response um, than we used to in our 3D, 4D levels of living. Self-realization is huge, and this comes back to the spirituality, realizing we are sovereign, beings here in a temporary physical body experience now you may not believe that i believe that um, we are all god we are here temporarily um, that's why detachment is huge as well with 5d because we are very attached to our loved ones our families um, but in 5d level of consciousness we know that that is a temporary family um it's one of many we're all family we are all everyone is our family that's 5d okay um and then knowing that we chose our lives we chose the path we wanted to live we choose chose everything about what we were born into now what we do here on earth you know changes as we as we move but we um we chose the life that and the parents that we came into and the family that we came into we know our path we know what we came here to do we we know the mission we came to accomplish we know how we wanted to evolve on a soul level what we wanted to experience in this human body life form um and we're here to carry that out carry that journey that path out um we don't identify with the physical body we know that we are sovereign we're spiritual and we have a soul body we are completely fearless we don't fear we trust we know things are going to work out we don't even fear death because there there's no death of the soul there's death of this human body you know i when i started studying this um I lost my fear of death. I used to be very afraid of death and I'd have other people dying that are very dear to me and of myself dying and what would happen to the others if I die and all this stuff around death. So I don't have that strong fear as I used to um, when I started studying this. 
So we are fearless. And then there's this whole idea that we are limitless and we can manifest anything. In 5D, we can manifest everything that we need. Um, everything is abundant. We are completely abundant in all aspects of our life. Um, it's a hard one for people to, to grasp. Um, don't even worry about 5D at this point. I think very few are actually in 5D state of consciousness. Uh, most are in 4D or very many are in 3D. So understanding these different levels just helps us become a better person, become a higher vibration and our thoughts, our feelings, our actions, our words that we speak. And when we can start to live this way in that higher vibration all the time or more than not, that's when you'll start to notice massive changes in your life, especially around abundance. Um, so wanted to leave you with that. And um, I would be so thrilled to have comments. What is your thought? Do you agree with me? Do you not? Have you studied this yourself? I know a lot of my friends do. So um, I know a lot of you out there that may see this um, are on the same thought wave that I'm on. And I would love to have your comments as well. Um, so thank you for joining me today. Have a blessed day. Think about some of these things. Um, Think about moving into 4D more often than not. I think, you know, many people I'm connected with already are in 4D, but in that 4D, we still bounce back to 3D. So let's all collectively try to raise our vibration and help humanity as we can in that form, in that way. So love you all. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. And um, I will see you next Friday at 10, if not sooner. And don't forget, Leaders of Love, this week um, we'll have another Wednesday night session. I'm not sure what the topic is this week, um, but they've all been great and really a lot of fun. So look forward to seeing you there or in the comments below. Bye now.